What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. I'm standing out here on the porch. I'm looking at our beautiful view. Ooh, there's some trucks coming up the road. Someone's building a house like way back here. So a few construction trucks come by every once in a while. Jeez, a lot are coming by today. Holy cow. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little cold and windy. So those trucks have sort of passed by. Um, we are continuing the kitchen studio build. We got a few things I want to show you, a few questions I want to ask you, because I have some decisions to make coming up here very quickly, because I need to order some things to get them ready for the contractor to come in and put them in, and I need to get that done. So it's Wednesday. Come along, let me show you what we've been doing, and I need a little advice from you guys. So cooks, we have been fussing all day long and due to the supply chain issues and also my impatience, <laughs> we're going with off the rack cabinets. So we will see. Get her done. We will see how these turn out. If that, if they fall apart, then Eric's going to have to give me a boatload of money to buy custom cabinets. So I guess this, what I'm saying is this might be a temporary fix but we're going straight white. And so we have a sink base, a regular base. We have a couple other bases and we also have a sink. Um, so that's stage one. <sighs> I'm tired. And we might get a double oven if we can build the cabinet for it. So we'll see what, how much Eric and my favorite plumber will tolerate. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> So we got to get this in the truck and um, load it up. Okay, so one of the decisions that I made recently is I decided to put a double oven into the studio kitchen. And so now I need to pick one. And um, I've been going back and forth on a lot of different options. And one of the problems is I'm not going to go and spend tens of thousands of dollars on appliances. I'm just not going to do that. I'm a home cook. And, um, the first thing we did was we looked at Wolf and we looked at, um, Viking. We looked at Viking and the prices for me, I'm creating a budget kitchen. So they were absolutely off the table. So I'm going to order a double oven from Lowe's. So right now I'm basically debating brands. I noticed that a lot of them only have convection in the top oven and I've only found one that has convection in both ovens. Um, so I've looked at Bosch, I've looked at KitchenAid, I've looked at, um, um, I looked at Frigidaire and I think I'm going with the Frigidaire because I found one that has convection. It has the proofer and has convection in both ovens. So I think I'm going to order that. But one question I have for you guys is I'm having trouble finding a cabinet for a double oven. So we're either going to build one or I'm going to buy a used one and, and refurbish it to make it work for the double oven I'm getting. So the bottom cabinets are white. And if I have to build one, I'm thinking about using the Sherwin Williams color of the year. I think it's called um, evergreen something. It's a green color. So I'm going to match the color of the oven cabinet to some elements in the rest of the kitchen to tie that in to that green. So it'll be that green and that white with pops of that green all over other places. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm looking at. Let's go down in the basement and I'll show you what I've gotten so far. <laughs> so we're making progress. This was completely redone by our plumbing master. Um, apparently this Take was... Take a bow, Charlie. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
This was put together. I don't know who did it, but they, they really, they did a number on it. So he fixed it all up. And if you happen to live in our area, I will, um, and you need a plumber, um, send me a message and I will hook you up with a contact because he is amazing. So we have a little residue down here from um, <laughs> cutting the pipe. I need to uh, vacuum that up. So this was actually all messed up um, in here. One of the things you'll see is, see this orange glue here? The previous person who did this used the wrong pipe cement. It's holding, but this is like PVC glue or whatever, and it's not plumbing glue. It's not the right stuff. So we're just leaving it for now because it's not really doing anything, but he um, hooked this up to make this really nice. He also put some valves in here to, so we could cut off the water to the kitchen whenever we need to. But um, yeah, I don't know why they did this where they put in the wrong cement on it, but it is how it is. So it's nice and strapped and ready to go. So we're gonna be sealing the concrete. So we're here getting the um, primer for that and some paint for it. And we also got these to do the painting. So we got some porch and floor patio paint. I got this in a slate gray and we got some primer. So this is the Bosch double oven. It has a fan in here, but no fan in there. So it's not convection um, in both ovens. This is a Whirlpool. It does have a fan there. Let's see. Yeah, fan. And here is the <laughs> Frigidaire that I'm looking at. You can see me there. So the upper oven has the convection, the lower oven has the convection, and the bread proofer. Oh yeah. Three racks, no two racks. There's the pan. They have this in here wrong. This one goes in the bottom. And there's a fan down there. So one fun thing about this one is, because it has three racks here and three racks here, you can do six sheet pans of cookies all at one time. Um, obviously, you're going to take some of the racks out so you can have room in there. I'm looking at some quartz countertops have to sort of decide what kind of color I want to get. Um, this is the hard part. Really picking which one is so difficult. So I'm at a, a big box store here, trying to get some cable here to run for our electrical stuff. And you can kind of see some of this cable is kind of pricey. But what's kind of interesting is you're going to see cables that are secured with stuff. Here's some anti-theft um, well, cabling uh, that now I gotta get assistance with. $165 for some Romex 12-2. Uh, so it's basically three conductors. Two conductors plus the uh, ground. And I can use this for uh, 20 amp circuits. It's actually cheaper to buy this for the dishwasher which only needs 15 amp wiring because in bulk this is cheaper than the other stuff. It's 56 bucks for um, 50 feet of the 14.2. I get that cheaper um, as 12.2 because it's only like 80 cents a foot. This is actually just a touch over a buck a foot which is insane. Um, should have bought this two years ago, right? Like everything else? Yeah, so this is some Romex 12-2. It's good for 20 amp circuits. It's 250 feet. It's about 80 cents a, a foot, a linear foot. There's the price right there. And 
I need help because it's all protected. You need a wire cutter to buy this stuff. So let me go get some help. So this is where the magic is going to happen. Um, we're finishing the floor. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Got Eric. Delivery from your local nice, store. <laughs> nice uh, feet, boo. Oh, sure. So this floor is going to be done today. We made the decision that we're painting the floor because this is sort of a working kitchen. It's not a living kitchen. And so we're painting the floor and we're getting those gel mats. So we got the gray color for that. Um, we need to clean the carpet over here, but we're going to be cutting this carpet back farther um, for the whole kitchen. And so this is where it's going to be. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, let me know what you think about the question about possibly putting a green cabinet in here for the oven. Um, let me know what you think about that. So this 12-2, 250 foot roll is cost effective compared to some smaller rolls of stuff, obviously. This is good for 20 amp circuits. So this is good for the circuits that are going to be around the countertops. It'll be good for the island. It'll be good for like a, a microwave oven. If you want to hook a refrigerator, it's good for that. Um, but based on the cost, I'm actually going to use this also for the dishwasher circuit just because the price point on this is cheaper than a shorter strand of the smaller cable. So enough boredom. But yeah, we're going to get this all hooked up. It'll look really pretty. So we got our paint goods. We got the paint and the primer for the floor. We're going to be rocking and rolling today. So, so cooks, it is Wednesday. The kitchen is coming along. We have to pick up the double oven today. I need to order the cooktop. We need to pick up the butcher block for the island. We need to pick out some counters for the back area. You got to get your new oven that the big box store says ready for pickup. Yeah, my oven's ready for pickup. Um, <laughs> and we got to start thinking about design elements and what I'm going to do on this back wall. I'm thinking possibly that this back wall is going to have some wainscot, some shelving, some all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, we have also had to pick up the drawer pulls for this. We got to start constructing the island. We have a lot of stuff to do. So let me know what you think about the cabinets. Have a great Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. And um, come join my Facebook group because we've been talking about the kitchen in there and all that fun stuff. So it continues. So we have empty flooring here and we have some cabinets. I had to buy off the rack cabinets because there was no way for me to get them anytime soon. But we do have a sink here. This sink is amazing. It is huge. It is 10 inch deep and this is going to be a lot of fun. And sneaking out over here, we have some pipes. So that's going to be the drain and the water lines for the dishwasher and the sink. So cooks, this is the oven that I decided to get. I got the KitchenAid. I ended up not getting the Frigidaire. Why I did this, I have no idea. Um, one, well, one reason is they have it and I can actually get it. That's one reason. The other is it has really good reviews. So one of the concern with the KitchenAid ovens are there is a class action lawsuit against KitchenAid um, because if you use the self-cleaning function, um, they can explode the glass on the oven. Um, so I don't use the self-cleaning uh, uh, feature. I've heard that it damages ovens, so I've never used it. I clean my oven um, on a regular basis. I don't let stuff just burn, burn, burn in there. If I get something on the oven, I, um, I clean it. So I've never really had an issue. My ovens stay relatively clean. One of the reasons I did like this is it does have um, 
two. It has the true convection in both ovens. That was one of the things I was looking for. And this has that. It has temperature probes for each oven. So um, it has that too. So we actually found this in stock. It's like the only double oven in stock in like our entire state. And um, we're picking it up tomorrow. So this was the winner. Ding, 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 right? The KitchenAid 30 inch um, electric wall oven is coming to the new studio. So just when I said Viking was off the table, look what Eric ordered for me. He ordered a Viking cooktop. <laughs> so one of the great things about this cooktop is it's very responsive. It will get up to temperature within three seconds. That's what it says. So what he ordered was the 36 inch Viking smooth top. I will talk in the future about why we chose not to put in gas um, or propane. We made a conscious decision based on our situation why we didn't do that. So this is what we're getting. We're getting the Viking um, cooktop. So, cooks, as you can see, the the kitchen is coming um, along. The only thing I'm um, I have issues with right now is getting the cabinet for the double oven, but we're going to work through that. Tell me what you think about the idea of painting that green and using that elements of green within the kitchen. So thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. And whatever advice you have for me on this new kitchen build, please leave it down in the comments because I would really appreciate it. Have a fantastic Wednesday.